Okay, so what are we looking at? We're looking at a desktop that was created from the Ubuntu 15, the 15 Mate 15.04 Mate uh, edition, and it does not really look the same as when it comes because I changed the icons around and I also made it kind of, um, yeah, in a style that you won't see too much. Um, but I will not talk any longer, just dream away with the music and of course tell me what you think of this beautiful, beautiful desktop concept. So peeps, welcome in my desktop, there we are. And uh, what you're looking at is Ubuntu Mate 15.04 and I changed it around, you can see I put my own little orb there, that's just because the Mate desktop is very powerful and it will let you do things like that. Um, the icons, all of them come from the circle pack icon package, the circle icon pack and the coolest thing is of circle icon pack, um, this one that you're looking at in fact is freeware, you can download them completely free and install them and I saw that they were also uh, open for commercial usage so uh, yeah a kind of tip for my Ubuntu developers, the guys that create like um, distros. Um, I see that most of you are already making it more colorful and using nice icons, creating beautiful desktops. Most of them are also in Mate, what I could see until now, but also KDA and, and the new GNOME, uh, the GNOME 3 I think it was, uh, is also looking fantastic, looks very nice, but I'm a fan of Mate just because I can make it just the way I want and I don't have that power with the others. So that's why, you know, I'm on Mate. So we have an App Store, as I told you, um, Ubuntu was the first one with app stores, uh, well Linux was the first one way back in 2003 uh, we already had app stores that while <laughs> the other operating systems were like yeah what is an app store according to the internet you can get it on the internet you know and uh, later they also came with app stores so yeah so in fact now the benefit of that is of course that uh, the newcomers in Linux world <laughs> will not be looking strange when they see an app store and they will feel even more at home they will be like oh there's an app store so it's kinda like Android so it's kinda like iOS it's kinda like Windows 10 and Windows 8 well it's none of that but yeah in fact as you can see the home folders they are all the same it's no big deal I think everyone can can find its way in in Ubuntu with the Mate desktop and in Linux Mint you know you guys can find your way in any Linux distribution with this desktop you can find your way because um, this is kind of the universal way of yeah using a desktop with the home folder and in the home folder the download folder and 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 yeah yeah you can see that i also changed the system folders around because yo they're all having one color and it looks really boring you know so i changed that around and give them all little colors and as you can see this is more a one and a half when people see this they're like oh wow that's beautiful i want that too you know and uh, well they can go ahead and download it and you know with the easy tutorials that I showed, they will easy uh, change it around into their own little system, you know. Um, my goal is to have desktops out there, made desktops out there, that none of them look the same. None of them, at least if the, if the user is also kind of a little bit creative and also, you know, want to do a thing like this. This is, of course, just like wearing nice clothes if you go to a party, you know, some people don't care. They don't just go with their jeans and their, and their you know, and their daily shirt. And I do it sometimes as well. But sometimes, you know, you also want to wear a nice jacket, you know, look good, you know, and 
this is what I did in fact with Mate. I, I just, you know, gifted some colorful icons and it's so easy to do that, you know. Here we're gonna make the icons a little bit bigger. You know, we can make them really big because the, the pixels of the icons are very good. These are 128 uh, P I of fix I I icons. That's how to say it right. But here you can see right mouse click properties and then just browse for any icon that you would like to use for your CD player. And uh, I have the circle pack icon pack there. Gonna go to the gonna look for the biggest ones. Yeah, 128. And then you know, in fact, there are no rules for icons, you know, there are no yeah, maybe there are, maybe for the computer icon and for the network icon, you know, those are like, but all these other icons out there, they could, you know, they could mean anything. I mean, like, yeah, if there's kind of no name on it, you could use it for everything that you, that kind of corresponds with the icon. So that's how you must think. You know, there are no rules for things. People just set rules and make borders and make life hard, you know. But in fact, there are no rules because under every icon, we also look. This icon, for instance, it looks like a CD player to me, like a CD. You see, it's round and it has this little thing there. It looks like a CD to me, so it's good enough. And the color is also nice because now the thing just got a very nice, uh, colorful My Computer uh, environment. This uh, what you're looking at is my uh, yeah what is that that was my home folder we're back into the desktop and uh, yeah what can I say I'm recording with a screenshot and I must tell you that today I installed yep I installed another uh, movie edit uh, edit program and with that one uh, I rendered this video that you're looking at right now and yeah I did some other things as well but flowable movie editor uh, flow flowable flow oh my gosh flow flowable uh, movie editor and it was really stable I loved it immediately felt in love the first moment when I when I used it so I have it now also uh, besides open shot because open shot is very so buggy you know it sometimes just quits out of nothing and I was like I'm gonna uninstall the whole Ubuntu and you know reinstall it but then again I did so much things already with this Ubuntu effect you know when I started this video I wanted to delete it this is an icon I created uh, myself I also create icons from pictures so soon I'm gonna make an icon pack you know um, yeah books icon pack for the of course made desktop I will make them in PNGs and I will share it so you know if you want you can also download it if you like it I must first work on it I'm making the icons in my Mac by the way so that is not happening in Ubuntu or in Mate I'm sure there's a package to do it uh, as well but uh, what tell me what you think of the P uh, the P start button I think it looks really beautiful don't you think and uh, changing that in something else is also very easy eh? just right mouse click and then properties here we are in the background section and uh, i will show you some beautiful backgrounds really well you know the guys there at ubuntu really did a great job but also my friends from uh, linux mint also they updated the desktops this is my favorite one i really love it red gold and green yeah it's kind of yeah my rasta thing you know i love that um but green also looks fantastic this is we know this from apple from mac we know this also from mac and and linux ubuntu this is kind of yeah very light uh yeah and the lighter your desktop picture the more energy your lcd also consumes eh? so yeah in fact the best is to use a black a black background then you lose uh, then you use the less energy did you know that and you can also feel it in your eyes if you're you know looking at the white page you will see that your eyes are kind of yeah they're kind of hurting make it black and you feel a relaxness relaxness coming over your eyes so background is very important peeps you must keep that in mind a background is very important 
and it will also you know if you want attention if you want the thing to you know really jump out and you know just like the windows 10 movies uh, videos that i was creating i was using a white background but that really pumped out that was because you know i was like also hiding the build number in the first place and in the second place yeah yeah to hide the build number so um yeah what are we here doing oh yeah we are busy with wallpapers In fact, I love this one because it's saying Ubuntu plus Mint plus Love is Ubuntu Mate. See that? So, uh, yeah. Ubuntu is also showing uh, some love there to the Mate. Playing around with some... Uh, some background this one is also very nice eh? but the icons the doesn't really fit with these ones i think we should go ahead and take the the flower again i think yeah this one here there yeah well we could take this one for a second i think i'm gonna change my mind eh? i think i'm gonna change my mind because uh, this is kind of it's nice but it's also very busy it's not relaxing. I'm very critical if it comes up to wallpapers. Because I have to look at it, you know. I have to be with it. And if it doesn't bring me peace, then yeah. Look, this brings more peace. Although you would say, yeah, a flower is more for a woman. But that's not true, you know. Flower is nature. Look at the colors, the red, gold and green, you know, the flower is just the red, you know. It's beautiful. This is beautiful. It's very relaxing. You should try it out. You can find it at Ubuntu uh, Mate 15.04. So, that's it. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, oh yeah, icons. Well, you know, we all the other operatings out there, operating systems out there can, you know, make the icon bigger but not so big as this one can i have applause for that please thank you so we put it back to the size that we want we can make it any size we want and uh, to tell you the truth it's hard to get the same size for any icon so every icon will have kind of a different size or you must have really good eyes then you could make them uh, but as you can see every icon has their own little size and that is also yeah the human humans love that you know when something is too much uh, of one then it gets static for your mind and then you get tired you know um, it's really important to think of the icons and the desktop if you create a Linux distro that is at least what I found out with myself because I use myself as a test person if I get bored really fast then something is not good with the thing even though if it looks beautiful you know then to me probably I didn't find it you know but never take Linux by the look one of my subscribers said and I will never do that uh, but the main desktop that is the desktop that I understand and that I, you know, would love to promote also in my videos because I, I understand it. That's why, you know, um, so that's it. Peeps, I hope you like this video. I want to wish you all a great weekend out there. Stay safe and uh, yeah, have a great time with Linux out there and peace out.